to move out of our current studio and build a new one and furnish it with a lot of tech. We are calling out to our listeners, our viewers, anybody who can support to donate to our fundraiser. We want to make the best, funniest, most narratively compelling show that we possibly can that looks and sounds fantastic because let's be honest the uh, biggest ick is when a podcast has like terrible sound quality. We know times are tough so if you can't donate don't stress but simply sharing this would be absolutely epic. For those of you who can donate, we would like to offer a token of our appreciation. So when you go to Kofi and you make your donation, make sure to leave your name because we will then hide it somewhere in our brand new studio space. We'll share more about what we need and why as we go. But for now, any donation and any sharing of the fundraiser would be absolutely amazing. So go out and roll roll the the damn dice. dice. Hi, I'm Paul, I'm Lydia. Hello, I'm Moa, and I am playing Blue, the human fighter and shit rogue. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stephen, I'm playing Lahan Von Ryder, the half-elf monk, and I'm stealthy ass. Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm playing Oriana, the tiefling rogue sorcerer, and I'm also pretty damn stealthy, to be fair. I'm Joy Amy, and I'm playing Mardi, the hill dwarf forge cleric who... <laughs> Stealthiness can get to shit. <laughs> I'm Luke. I play Flight, the Urgenasi Wizard, and Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Official subclass. Okay, cool. So, you've just heard this voice. Who goes there? Uh, blue immediately. It's like the, the, the bow goes back onto her back. Papoose is still there. She um, morphs and shrinks. And becomes a dog. Aww. <laughs> she she shrinks down. The papoose kind of it sort of swings underneath. The papoose kind of shrinks to stay on like attached. Underneath or but on her back? It swings round and is like underneath, okay, so okay. it's like shielded. Should have had a kangaroo pouch. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> it kind of becomes that. Um, and what breed of dog is blue? She is a sort of quite a small. Dark black husky. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. She's kind of wolfy. Oh, nice, nice. We like it. Okay. Um, but but a sm- but like not not like a massive one. She's sort of a bit more petite. Okay. Um, in her dog form. Right. This isn't her wear dog form. This is her dog form. What does Ayana do? Fucking pills. I completely forgot about my disguise pills. I should have taken one. Um. Shit. Could you not? I'm just gonna pop a pill really quickly. Okay. Uh, cool, okay. Oh, you made a mistake. Uh, what? Uh, so, coming up behind you is a, uh, is a, um, a no. Yes. Uh, what, what, what are you doing here? I don't, I don't think we're allowed, I don't think we're allowed pets in the building. What do I look like? Uh, you look like a female dwarf. Uh, one dwarf. of your legs is is um, is like a sort of um, a big sort of jackhammer almost. I'm gonna look down and notice this, Clark. Remember Goldie. Oh, I'm so sorry, darling. <laughs> I just uh, my uh, my puppy. Oh, she loves all marble. She loves marble. She's got such expensive taste. Um, she she just came running in here, and I had to go I had to chase her, trying to get her out. I'm so sorry, sugar. I didn't mean to. <sighs> <laughs> so your dog came in here. Oh yeah. Well, you see. One of your doors, um, it's uh, over there, I think. It's um, it's it's it says it's not working, but the doors can still open. So she must have ran inside. Okay, well, I'll um, I'll. I'll Lou will I'll kind of be like trotting. She'll she she can still like understand, and she'll just be like, 
and like almost like if she could roll her eyes like this is degrading but she's gonna like trot around and kind of like wag her tail she's gonna like sniff at some things and kind of as you come near him he is clearly not keen on dogs he's like um uh, can you uh, oh of course you... of course come here Gregory come here from Tony which means it's probably subconscious for Ariana as well yeah. and she realises what she's done and then she kind of feels a little bit guilty because she doesn't want to make Blue feel sad and stuff yeah. but she's like oh come here Gregory come here um, and, and Blue will kind of like she'll sort of like affectionately kind of leap at the leap at him and then she'll kind of turn around he, he stumbles backwards and he's fallen over now um, oh I am so sorry and she's going to try and like Help him out. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, no, no, don't worry. She, he's completely friendly, a little bit too friendly, some people say, so. And Blue's kind of going to go... <laughs> <laughs> and go and, like, sniff at him and sort of, like, snoot around his legs. Yeah, exactly. Well, no, let's... Uh, uh, you're, you're very nice, but uh, could you... Uh... Oh, of course. Gregory, come here. Come here, boy. <laughs> he's going to trot over and <laughs> tail wagging. <laughs> Sit <laughs> Ori feels she, so like uncomfortable, <laughs> but he's trying just to be really like natural about it. And Blue is going to stare daggers into her. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Ori's and we'll going sit. to. So he's Ori's, sort of walking Ori's going towards to, the doors. Ori's gonna. Good boy! And as Ori points at Blue, she's gonna cast a uh, message as a. Um, a, a, a cantrip, which go. You started this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's 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 moving towards the doors. He's expecting you to follow. Oh, uh, oh wait, are you, we're going through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's sort of going towards the atriums. He's he's heading out. He's he's expecting you to follow him out. Oh, um, oh, just before I do that, um, let me put it in I'm going to try and find spells. Oh, I literally had it. I had it, and I was looking for other stuff, and then it's gone. Tony, you're an idiot. You're not an idiot. You pulled that accent out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we'd be getting the tour of Tony's accent. <laughs> while, while you're doing that, what, the, what are you yeah. three doing? Uh, so heard, we heard that as well. Yeah. Well, um, it depends what you did when when you heard who goes there. Who goes there? Um, the harm will swing back around with the bow and then probably realise that it's... We'll definitely hear that accent. <laughs> and be like, sounds like a them problem. <laughs> Is it? Let's just keep going. Yep. Forward. Okay. Um, are we good with the eye for the minute? I can send the eye, keep an eye, see how they're doing. Yeah, good shout. We do. So she'll bring the eye back up the stairs and just position it above this scene. Um, and she'll just keep checking in every now and then. If she sees things go south, we can double back. But yeah, eyes hovering over that scene. Let's go. Okay, so you go down two flights of stairs. Stairs carry on going down, but there is you can exit on this floor. Cool. Is there any signs as we're going down? Uh, just a number, just B1. Okay. Basement one. Well, looks like it's a basement. Right. Let's get some shit done. Um, and then again, turn ahead around the corner. Can we see anyone? Uh, do a perception check. Perception. Uh, that is eleven. No, you don't see anyone. Uh, um, what you can see? What about me? Are you going to look, have a look as well? Of course I'm going to have a look. Okay. <laughs> that would be six. No, you're convinced there isn't anyone in there. Right, okay. Me and my amazing 120 foot dark vision high sight as well. Uh, Can't see anyone, so. Uh, it's, a large, it's a large room that looks like some sort of assembly line. Okay. Um. Right, now. In all the detective books that I read, right, there's some really good ones there. And there's some smutty ones. Too. I was just gonna say, <laughs> you definitely read some smart. <laughs> um, so there's this 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 great uh, detective called Miss Maple, and like she's this old lady, but like she pretends to be older than she is, and she like gets information out of people. Um, well, um, in that, like she'd say, look for clues. <laughs> 
And Lahan just starts looking around the room. Yeah. Like <laughs> checks the floor. <laughs> uh, Mardi is going to see if she can find things like drawers. Um, uh, something that where paperwork might so be stored. As you go in, it's I mean it's a huge room. It's mm. a good 200, 200 feet probably by about hundred feet, and it's 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 there's there are drawers, but they're all they've all got tools in. Tools. Right. Oh, um, is anybody any? I know. Are you? Um, can I do an Arcana check to see if I can feel any magic in magic? No, it's not how Arcana checks work. No? No. Okay then. Um, um, no, so like, Arcana is like, if you look at something, can you tell? It, has it got magical inscriptions? It, it's more in terms of knowing about magic and the history of magic rather than being able to so sense So is that anything magic. beyond the assembly room? Is that like another door out? Or? Uh, yeah, but the, the, I mean, the stairs did carry on going down as well. Mm. So, but on the other side of the room, there are more doors. Right. Well, let's go down a bit further. I'd agree, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go back upstairs. What's on Rihanna doing? Oh, so before we go, can I just ask you something? And she's going to say, could you just forget what you saw and leave? And with that, she's casting suggestion. Okay. Can this gnome do a wisdom save, please? Yeah. Um, what's the DC? 15. Ooh. You're fine. Oh, oh. Um, oh okay. Yes, that's, that's fine. Um, before I get... Uh, would you like to go for a coffee sometime? <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later, darling. <laughs> and she winks at him. He's, he's quite chuffed. He leaves the little coffee stuff. <laughs> and he's gone. Okay. He's literally gone home. He's left the building. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we managed to get ourselves out of that one. Blue is going to stay in dog form for a bit. Um, <laughs> oh my god, I, I totally heard that in Fidget's voice. Yeah. <laughs> when the dog goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Blue, uh, Blue is thinking, uh, is thinking, you know what, actually, she's gonna stay like this. Um, she's gonna try and see if her, like, height and sense of smell can be of use. Um, and she has no way of communicating this to Oriana. Um, but she's just gonna kind of look at her meaningfully and go and kind of give a little shiver and sort of trot off and kind of give a little, like, head nod. Let's keep going. With message, mm-hmm. if I talk to you, mm-hmm. if or if Ariana talks to Blue, Ariana, a Blue can reply. Oh, nice. So any time, so if, if and Ariana will say that to yeah. Blue, um, and so anytime you do anything, I'm mm-hmm. like, you're right, you're right, mate. And it's a camera show, so I can do it a bunch of times. So cool. Nice. And you'll get back like, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna try this on for a bit longer. See if it's useful. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so, and so we'll kind of and go up the stairs. stairs. You're going up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. she's going to try and, like, see if she can smell anything useful. What are you trying to smell? Well, we're looking for a board room. We're looking for the key. Like, yeah. I think that's what we're mostly looking for. Um, what is it? I don't know. What does a boardroom or an office smell like? She's smelling, sniffing for pretension. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff, as, I mean, sniffing as for the your, smell of pretension. As you're going up the stairs, you're clearly leaving the area of the business which is for working mm-hmm. and into the area of the business. Well, for manual work, you're moving more into the business side of mm-hmm. things. It's as much as I can really tell you from smell. Yeah, <laughs> hey, it's fun. Um, uh, so back down. Okay. Right, so we're taking another flight of stairs down. Yep. So yeah. B two. Okay, you're on B two. B two. Uh, the, fl- the stairs do go down again, and there is another <sighs> door. Okay. Um, so, has the door got any windows at all? Nope. So just. Um, oh no. Yeah. Okay. The door's got windows. Okay. So Lahan ducks, hood up, and then just peers up a little bit to see if he can see anything through the window. So it's a corridor, um, oh. which is is running. Parallel to the window, as in you can't see down a corridor. 
yeah, yeah, um, that's true. yeah. Uh, it's but it, it's pretty dark, so it's you can't see anything through the window. It's a dark corridor. Even the hundred and twenty foot of dark. You vision. can't see one hundred and twenty <laughs> foot because you can only really see the other. The sun. You can see about five to ten yeah. foot. Um, but then we know that Oriana in blue are fine now, don't we? Yes, yeah. Flight would have yeah. just kept uh, every couple of minutes. She'll just give her a third flight. They're doing fine. Cool. They've got rid so, of um, hey, well, any chance of bringing the eye back down here since they're fine? Yeah, yeah, they're clear. So, give it a few minutes and she can sort of move it and comes all the way back down. Down that corridor? Down that corridor, yeah. So, it can go through a gap of an inch if there's a keyhole or. You probably have to room. push the door open. Yeah, yeah so, so just open it a tiny bit and yep. then send the eye through. It's got dark vision as well, so when you just go down, sort of, is it branching off down the side? So you've got straight? one long corridor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, um, in one direction, there's two doors. In the other direction, there's three doors. Yeah. Um, and then at the direction with three doors, there's also a left-hand turn at the end of the corridor. Okay, so if any of the doors have got windows, to so just sort of hover the eye in front, have a look in, yeah. and just go right. They're looking for that sort of like storm and Okay, that's okay. fine. So. She'll go in that and then zip it down the corridor and just look. Sort of so all you can there. see uh, is a sh the, the next bit of the corridor is quite short, but at the end of it is a door. There is light coming from around the door. Okay. Okay. So she'll leave it watching that door for now and then she'll just relay all of that. Um, nothing mm. seems like locked or protected. Like no guards, no extra security, so maybe. Well, it's, that, it's, that sounds a, a bit suspicious to me. If there's no guards or nothing, I'd be expecting what they're looking for. Guarded more? Yeah. Can I ask? In in the room that they're currently in, is that also like a picking line or machinery? What, so what's you're it? you're in a stairwell, basically. You're in the stairwell. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it's dark outside, so the room with the light coming isn't coming from outside. Right. I reckon we should investigate. Okay. All right, it's what Miss Maple will do. Okay. Then Lahan starts heading towards the door with the light. Cool. So you're gonna avoid the other doors. For now, yeah. Straight to the, the yeah. light. Cool, cool, cool. Um, it stands out for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> These other doors are NPC doors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what you, how are you gonna check out? There's a door. It's a solid door. You can definitely see a sort of flickering light. Where are we seeing the light not. coming out? Is it? Just under the door. Gap. Under the door. What, less than, more more than an inch. inch? Yeah, I would say. You can squeeze under the door. Yeah, so she'll send the eye down and under, and then just immediately up. So sure. just to see what's in this room. So in this room, this is, uh, again, it's, it's got a fairly large room. It's got uh, work, it's, it's got work benches, but this looks not, like this is, by comparison to the assembly line, this is nicely done. It's kind of uh, marble, white marble floors, white walls. Um, and at the far end, um, you can see a, a gnome uh, who's beavering away on a sort of um, architect's type of sketch table. Okay, from a rough guess, far enough that we could whisper and he's not going to hear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. he looks really engrossed in what he's doing. Yeah. Um, and in fact, as you're as you're sort of listening, you can hear this sort of faint music coming from somewhere, pr presumably at the end of the room. He's about fifty foot down the room from you guys. Okay. Um, she'll relay that and then she'll just like take this eye right sort of over his shoulder to see what he's doing. Uh, he is, uh, he appears to be uh, designing um, some sort of uh, part for a, for a machine. It, I mean, Flight's yeah. knowledge is no better than that. No, I'm she sure does. It, there's nothing obvious, there's no not many words. No, she, she knows sort of arcane stuff quite well now, so does it seem more a mechanical workshop or is there sort of rooms being inscribed or anything? Does this just seem like putting cogs and gears type thing? Um, yeah, do an arcana check. Okay, let's have a look. Um, uh, probably not, no, uh, 10. Um, what you're looking at on this blueprint appears to be just cogs. Yeah, um, yeah. And around the room, there's lots of locked cupboards and so, I mean, if they were trying to hide something, they were unlikely to just leave it out on the desk, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so flight for speed and just relay. Cool, yeah. Did you say, um, <clears throat> you said there were cupboards? How big are the cupboards compared to the gnome? I could take him by surprise. We could shove him in a cupboard. 
Yeah, all right. But um, what for exactly? Well, no. Just steal the plans. Well, we can have a little look around if you shove them in the cupboard. Have a proper look, see what's in there. It's like nonsense to me, so let me look around. Um, <laughs> Marty is um, gonna have a little giggle to herself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so Mardi is gonna. Um, so hang on, let's let's have a look. She's in there. Oh, within range, not being worn or carried. In range is 120 feet. So okay. Uh, so can I ask a question about the cupboards? You can tell me what the spell is, then you can ask me a question yeah. about uh, the cupboards. The spell is animate objects. Oh. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So basically, um, I sort of, <laughs> sort of want a wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast, this gnome. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. That's okay. what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. Is there? Is there? Um, is there a cupboard big enough to do that? To gobble him up. To uh, gobble him up. Yeah, but obviously you can't see any of the cupboards. It so I can tell you there is a cupboard big enough. Uh, yep, that's that's okay because this doesn't say anything about me having to see them. I just have to be in range. <laughs> We, and not worn or carried. We really just put all of the chaos okay. of goblins together. I mean, we could, if he seems pretty busy, we could crack the door tiny bit so you could properly aim it. Yeah, that, that sounds sounds like a cool idea. Yeah, I, yeah, think, yeah. I think, I, I mean, I hear what you're saying, it doesn't no, it's say. Only, it's only surprises me that it doesn't say I have yeah. to see them. Mm. Um, yeah, cool. It's usually an object within line I know, of sight. Right? Or... Yeah, the word in there, like, non-magical objects within range that are not being worn or carried. Normally it would say... That like, you can that see. You can that see, that you yeah. Can objects see, yeah. that you can see. Okay, in this case, that, okay. that's the rule, that's okay. the spell. We'll, um, uh, makes no sense. Is Marty's Welcome gonna, to D&D. Marty's gonna, yeah, gonna crack the door a bit. Yeah, such rule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mar- Marty's gonna <laughs> crack the door open a bit. Watch this on your little eye. <laughs> um, and she's gonna hum like a little natty tune under her under her breath. <laughs> Not copyright. Uh, yeah, that was a uh, yeah. Alakadula. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no bibbidi bobbidi boo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so happy. Um, I'm, and I'm this... getting bed dogs and broomsticks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she's a little bit. Um, oh my god, what's her name? Um, um, Con- is it Constance? No, no. no. Angela Lansbury. It's, well, it's Angela Lansbury, very in both films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're very, very close to getting uh, sensible. Um, Eglantine, that's it, Eglantine. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what's going to happen is this cupboard yeah um is it's almost like the cupboard sort of stretches okay mm. yours sort of stretches uh opens up its opens up its doors like has a little shake and then it's gonna sort of like i'm gonna i'm gonna because i love this so much yeah i'm gonna say that directly behind him yeah is a cupboard Amazing. So the cupboard is just going to kind of sort of like rock from side to side like a little tiptoe, <laughs> like shuffle forward, um, like with, with, its, with its arms open, its arms, its doors open behind him, and then it's going to go <clears throat> <laughs> um, and close the doors around him and lock. I love that. I, I, was, I did uh, a perception at disadvantage because yep. he's engrossed. Got a s- nineteen. Oh no! And another. Yay! Oh, it's just magical. Yeah. Um, because obviously the, the cupboard was behind him. Yeah. We were at the door. Yeah. And the door was directly behind him, so we weren't able to gan- gather like his reaction to being gobbled up. Well, I, I mean, uh, Mardi did say she cracked the door. I did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we were watching him, but obviously the. The, the thing was, he was at the back of the room, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. The eye's still over his shoulder, so. Oh, yeah, the eye's, the eye's still, yeah, that's what um, I, so yeah, I said, watch this with your eye. Then Lahan nudges flight, and it's just like, look at his face, see if he's surprised by magic or not. Ooh. Mm, good point, can I do a perception, see if I caught that? Yeah. See his reaction, or insight, I guess, I guess is, um, I mean, they're both the same, it's uh, 19. He's definitely surprised. <laughs> he gets up all by a cupboard. Uh, I, d- I, I, I mean, unless you'd rolled a nat 20, I'm not sure you could yeah. tell whether he was surprised by being gobbled by a cupboard <laughs> or whether he's surprised by the existence of magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, so in that case, then, once he's been gobbled and locked, <laughs> um, we'll, Laham will enter the room and start going through other cupboards. So, yeah, you can hear banging. <laughs> um, really quiet. 
not great for a podcast. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so uh, they're, oh, yeah. <laughs> they're all going to be. Um, uh, Marty's going <clears> to. <throat> well, uh, we're trying to get you out, um, but the cupboard doesn't want to. Uh, Open for us, so I gotta go find a lock picking tool. Do a performance check. <laughs> oh, we I don't know why I just let <laughs> let Ariana no performance <laughs> checks. Yeah. But Ariana's uh, is it was sort of her thing. Karen's not a very charismatic. And it's just some of your job, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Lucky feet. It's a six. <laughs> uh, yeah, he don't. I mean, who is that? What are you doing down here? There should be mech dwarves in, in here, in our R&D department. Oh, what a lot of stuff that was. Um, yes, well, um, there's been a breach of security, you Forwards. see. Uh, um, <laughs> and it's best for now that um, we keep you locked in there whilst we investigate what is going on, for fuck's sake. Um, that is an eight. I mean, he just starts shouting for help. Don't we will get you out as soon as possible. Who's got the keys? I mean, you're looking for keys, aren't you? Um, yes? Uh, yeah, that that is right. We're going through every cupboard and every drawer looking for the keys. So we are going through every cupboard and every drawer, but we're looking for magic. Sure. Yeah. As you're sort of looking through uh, cupboards and doors, you, c- you realise that you haven't seen uh, a sort of... Um, a, a door which sort of looks like a bookcase, but it's really just sort of stickers. Badly. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying that because in the corner of our, um, our we don't talk space, about the bookcase. Um, Moa did a great job of putting a like fake bookcase on, but it took about three, four days. Uh, <laughs> and now, it's and, now and now it's in a corner of the room we don't film. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyway, sorry, that's just a bit of insight into us and our lives. Um, so yeah, uh, I can't remember what's happening. Yes, there's a bookcase. Uh, it's clearly a not a bookcase, clearly a door. Okay. Nice. Um, as we're going past towards the door bookcase, um, I'm going to steal the plans that he was working on. Cool. I'm going to... Yep. So you've gone up the first flight of floors. Flooded this. Yes. You're quite a spanner. Oh, I'm over there. We're all speaking Spanish. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't believe it. Woohoo! Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, so you've gone up the first flight of stairs, and, uh, the, and, uh, the, first flight of stairs and uh, the stairs carry on going up, uh, and you are on a um, floor with, uh, again, a glass wall and a uh, corridor going left and right. I have a question. The gnome that stopped us, mm-hmm. did he seem like he knew things and was important. Uh, he looked like it. He looked like the sort of security guard, desk, uh, desk guy. So it was because I've smelt him. I wondered if I could like track where he had been. Yeah, but Ooh. you can do. Yeah, um, and if there was any strong smell, like, but if if it's not if he's a, if he's a security guard. Yeah, would he have been guarding a? Like, he wouldn't have stayed in anywhere too long. He would no, have been doing exactly. Like, be doing that, laps. so it's less, less relevant. Cool. So uh, continue. Up <laughs> or into the corridor. I mean, we might as well have a little look. A uh, messenger. Yeah, and she'll just like, and nod. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. go and look. BB, um, look, see, sneaky. Okay, uh, so yeah, do both do a stealth for me then. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be like just dex. a straight dex for. Dirty 20. Nice. 30. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Better even with dog. my. Even with my jackhammer leg. <laughs> <laughs> Clonk. Clonk. You, uh, yeah, you sneak into this uh, office. It's, it's, again, it's a big, it's a big office space, but it's, it's offices. There's desks, there's pretty much those you can see. You can see windows out into the street. There's a few lights <laughs> on, um, and there do appear to be a couple of uh, gnomes um, working on one end of the office. Looking for a key to a mystical prophecy box. I feel like it's going to be somewhere more important. Yeah, but we might also find some evidence. Yes. If we're in offices, we might be able to find some evidence True. as well. And their gnomes are like working off in the... Yeah, they're probably 100 foot. Okay. Um, having been a 
around the prophecy box. <laughs> <laughs> Can I smell anything? <laughs> it smells like <laughs> prophecy. I literally, it's my one good thing that I have is that I can track things that I've smelled. Listen, dogs can smell cancer. I'm yeah. just saying. To be fair, like, yeah, dog, you are giving some, like, the dogs are giving a sample of yeah. something to then smell the prophecy. Can I, can I, like, can I smell prophecy? Can I smell the prophecy? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming you've got the box on you. I've got the box. I've always got my box. Hey. hey. Uh, you sniff the box. Yeah. Um, and you, what you do know is that it, the box has obviously nothing that smells like that has been on yeah. this floor or in the foyer, as far as you can. Do tell. I get a whiff of it going anywhere? No. Upstairs. Shit. I'll relay that in message. Oh, uh, yeah. If you message and I can like. What's, 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 oh yeah, what's going on? I can't smell anything that smells like the box. Right, okay. Well, it might be worth just looking a little look for evidence. Yeah. Um, and yeah, well. So there's probably about 100 desks. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a look in the closest one. Yeah. Oh, that's where the answers usually are. Yeah. <laughs> Depends how uh, long Paul wants to make this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are any of the desks um, unusually lit? <laughs> yeah. alone, not one of them. Big question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's I mean, like I can't a, open drawers. There's a pulsing circle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Press A. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to have a little very... Just because I also don't want to be moving around too, too much. Mm-hmm. Um, so Lou's gonna sneak to get to a point where she can. Are the, are the gnomes talking? Um, they're, so, they're they're working individually and every so often they mm. say a few things. She's just gonna get to. She's gonna kind of like sort of underneath the desks, kind of crawl. Obviously, not belly crawl. She has a baby papoosed to her chest. Um, but she's just going to sneak and see if she can hear anything that the gnomes yeah. may say. Sure. One of them says, hey, remember where the secret key was? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> <It's all> <gasps> um, they're just having it. They're, they're, I mean, they're talking about work. They're just yeah. talking about accounts. One of them's moaning because he wants to go home. The other one's like, yeah, we've got to get this finished for Morris by the morning. You know what Mr. Morris is like? Mm. That oh, sort of conversation. Morris. Morris. He's called Morris Morris as well. <laughs> <laughs> what a nom. Morris M. Morris. <laughs> Except Morris is spelled M A U R I C E and Morris is spelled M O R R I S. Yeah. yeah. Morris Morris. Maurice it's Morris. M O R R. Semicolon. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking man. Fucking <laughs> nose. <laughs> um, Nothing about, you know, Secret keys, no. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go downstairs. Yeah. 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 You guys are searching yeah. desks. So, swipe the plans. Yeah. Um, not looking at them now, just stashing them somewhere. Sorry, magic, 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 uh, magic. And we've gone through this door in the corner. Or we're going to go through this door. Go, yeah. Are we? Go yeah. To check it out, cool. at least. Okay, it's locked. Oh. Pattern. Finally. This is suspicious. Um, locked. Uh, like a keyhole or anything I can send yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll at least check it out on the inside. Does okay. it have to be an inch? It just says it can fit in a gap. It's up to an inch. So, it, example, a keyhole. If it's, if oh, it says example of keyhole. Okay, the, well, what's okay. the exact words? Well, yeah, I'll, say, I'll say if it says example of keyhole, go for it. Luke is, yeah. Luke is the one that knows all the rules. So, <laughs> <laughs> we go by Luke. That's my advantage. Um, I'm thinking an inch round, like a ping pong ball, would have to be able to get through. You say it's not actually an eye. That's it. the thing. I think it's magical in it. Sure. Yeah, it's magic in it. Breathes in like a hamster. So basically, you know when I'm trying to get past Luke to get out of this room, yeah. <laughs> I just like squeeze all the fat. Oh in. yes, sylph yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rats can do it. I could pass through an opening as small as one inch. Sure. Okay. It's still, it doesn't. I mean, anyway. Oh, we're discovering all the flaws in the writing of spells. Anyway, go through. Yeah, go yeah. through. Okay, okay, and then same again. It just stop immediately. And you've and got, this. This has got dark, dark. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and it'll just sort of rotate. Just so, to sort of yeah, scan this, the room. This room has um, basically uh, uh, plinths with various items on these plinths. This is the room, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, in that case, right. um, Lohan will pull help out me. his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, help is on its way. <laughs> Ready, Maylind now. Um, Make and... yourself comfortable. <laughs> It could be quite a while. You're um, not fooling anyone with those voices. <laughs> <laughs> and the hand's gonna pick the lock. Okay, cool. A uh, sleight of hand. Are you prefer? You got thieves' tools. Um, brewery tools, disguise kit, forgery kit, smiths' tools. I've got smiths' tools as well. Um, sorry. Have you got proficiency at po- lock picking? Good question. No, not officially. So he's just kind of going off. He's guessing. Okay. Okay. Uh, go for a sleight of hand at disadvantage. Sleight of hand disadvantage. Fair. <laughs> I mean, it makes no difference, really. Um, 13. Yeah, you, you can't open it. Oh, what's the door made of? I would. That's made of wood. That's annoying. Right. It's not really annoying. I mean, I do have a wall hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's um, bigger than my daggers. Shall I just? Shall I, I just? Have a way of t- All right. Okay. She's, I'm, she's I'm flipping thinking. through a spell book. <laughs> okay. Quickly. So back upstairs. Right. Back upstairs. You're searching through desks. Yeah. I'm as I'm as I'm searching through the desks. I'm kind of like ducking Dan behind. I was just I'm sure because when they're all the monitors are up. D <laughs> Um, you know, I'll, I'll be ducking down and kind of like reaching up. I mean, to, to be fair, I am basically describing a modern office building. Uh, yeah. You've got to picture it with. It, in my head, head, it's the. Um, it's the what's the one in London? The pickle. The pickle, oh. the shard. Shard. The shard. There we go. Well, there is the pickle. There is the, the oh. gherkin. The gherkin. 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 I mean pickle. The shard. I you mean, the, mean shard. the shard though? Yeah. My my friend helped design it. <laughs> when it's been like de- danced in vinegar. Isn't anyway, this it? is yeah. a good story. Friend helped design it mm-hmm. when he was at uni. He was the last year that went to university to, and got free education. <sighs> then he did a five year course because it was architecture. He then got a two-year thing because he helped design the gherkin. He basically was one of the last people in the country to still be getting uh, free, free education. education. Wow. Oh, we're there. There Hi, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Yes, so you said you just do an insight check for me, Oriana, please. No, not that dice, because that dice has not been doing very well for me. Uh, I'm going to go for this one with my dragons on it. Um, insight. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So you're you sort of rummage around these desks. They is just like mm. really boring paperwork. Yeah. I'm now thinking. Well, I've worked in offices with a hundred desks. What are those people doing? Yeah. <laughs> and why is there only two of them still here? Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, it's it's fairly mundane paperwork. Mm-hmm. If Charts. there was some big conspiracy or a magic key, they're unlikely to you think to be in this. Yes. Right. Space. So yeah, it's it's very much all kind of yeah bog standard papers. Okay. Blue will have made her way back to to Oriana and just kind of. <laughs> well, I would say one down, ninety nine to go. But I have a feeling that nothing's coming from these lot. I don't mm-hmm. think Morris is involved at all. To be quite, I oh, know I didn't hear that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blue is gonna just start like sneaking out of the room to look for the next one. But yeah, she's. Go follow. Cool. So yeah, you go out. I mean, this is basically that's pretty much what's on this floor. So mm. you have to. You're gonna go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I go upstairs. Cool. Um, you get to the top of the stairs. There is um, corridors. It you basically you come out of a spiral into an open, a full open space, mm-hmm. and there are corridors going in each direction. Oh, um, do an insight. Both of you do an insight. Also, Blue's going to sniff the box, okay. sniff the air, and get... This will be based on Blue's insight. Uh, what's this inside blues, again? Blue's insight. Um, not good, nine. Oh, seven. What is with the moles today? Cool. Yeah. Well, you can see some corridors. You've got I'm no not, idea which way to I'm go. I'm not intelligent. Um, I mean, I am. Sorry. <laughs> And you can't smell anything? You can't smell the box. Cool. What can you smell? What can I smell? You can smell the guard. You can smell his scent. The guard guy you met downstairs. Okay. 
can she see where where he's been? He, you can smell. It's not a computer game. You can smell where he's been. <laughs> no, I mean, but like smell where he's been. Yeah, in my mind, yeah. I am imagining like a green. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a little foggy, sort of, obviously. Like yeah. Sort of, yeah, yeah. fog um, that she's following. Maybe footprints. Yeah, maybe yeah. Footprints, yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, he's basically been down one corridor. That's it, all he ever goes down. As far as you can smell. Okay, that's her best bet. It's it's being guarded. She's gonna go down that that cool. corridor. Or gonna follow. Cool. Um, yeah, you've come down this. Go down. And she corridor. knows he's not coming back because he's been sent off. So yeah, yeah. There's a double doors. Mm-hmm. There's double doors at the end of the corridor. Can uh, I hear anything coming from the double doors? Mm-hmm. The double doors. I can't hear anything. I mean, you're you. I uh, don't know if you. I mean, I, I, I didn't even have to roll to not hear anything, so I'm assuming there is nothing coming yeah. from this. <laughs> <laughs> but you've probably got better hearing than me because you're a puppy. It doesn't say anything about her hearing specifically. It just says I've got a higher passive perception and and I've got, I can track any creature that I've smelled. That's weird because Grigori had advantage on insight and stuff. To do with and yeah, yeah, but he was, he was, he was, he was a special. He was a special puppy. Special oh, puppy. Special puppy. Um, um, while you decide what to do, we're going back downstairs. Okay, I can get in. Okay. I can get in. All right. All right. Go for it. So she'll stand right up against the door, and she'll she go ninja mode, banish, and then she'll in a bag. She'll stay very still for six. She stays very still for six seconds, and then disappear as blink kicks in. And then she just run forward ten foot, and then just wait to be back on that plane. Cool. She doesn't have dark vision now. Okay, you're in a room which is virtually pitch black. Yeah. So she'll wait a little while to just get as much of that sort of. I mean, you, you the eyes still here though. The eyes still in. And that's yeah, yeah. got dark vision. That has, but so it'll be. She'll probably hover it right in front of her yeah. face, and it's going to take some time. Torch. It's going to be slow, so she'll look through the eye. And then sort of try and, you know, hand eye coordination herself around and just have a look. Okay. Do an investigation check. Okay. Wow. That's seven plus. What do we got? Investigation. Oh, not too bad. Uh, 16. Okay. So while you are magic eyeing about the place, yep. <clears throat> um, you obviously see various things on these plinths. Um, the two things that catch your eye are what appears to be a model of a horseless carriage. Okay. On one of the plinths, and um, a key um, just on one of the plinths. Okay, so what she'll do, so Blink's going on for a minute. Okay. So she'll very quickly try and, um, if she's got time, she wants to grab onto those two, um, and then hopefully Blink, that's four, five, Six, seven. So with the seventh you she'll disappear. Run back to where those guys are. Just drop them. And then hopefully So she's then got another use, she'll run back inside and now she'll just now she's in, she'll read more. So she'll if any of the plinth have got writing on or if there's any notes, she can do that. So she zipped back, dumped all the stuff back to you guys, and she's going back into bags that we have. Yeah. Well she's very handy, isn't she? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you? Th- there's a broken door at the delivery bay, but god damn it, there's a man stuck in a cupboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> it can't take all of our repair men, can it? Honestly, nobody is buying this. <laughs> <laughs> the hand's not dropping. Yet. <laughs> um, uh, Squirt, um, would you? Um, can you open the door from that side? Oh uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> sure. No, have a look at the door. Uh, there's, the uh, there, there's there's a handle, but it's still locked. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, no luck. Um, I'm gonna be a bit in here, and yeah, like I said, she'll just now slow it down, and I know the blink's gonna run out, but she'll check over any writings now. Less shiny objects, more details. Cool. Um, let's go back up. Now, what are you two doing while? What, what yeah. So doing? so we, we literally outside the door. So we we because we I tried to pick it, and you were investigating its mm-hmm. material. Doing the silly voices, uh, just continuing, mm-hmm. um, and then obviously I picked up the model and the key. I'm not concerned with what they are. It's gone in the same bag with the designs that we picked. Um, 
the Hans, yeah, he's like, I think uh, when like flight gets back, uh, maybe we should like make a move back to the room. We've probably got enough evidence here. I, I, all right, I, um, I think that's probably a good idea. Um, like I reckon Ori and Blue can get themselves out of trouble. I mean, they seem like they're really sensible folk, do they? Yeah. <laughs> Your face. That was a compliment. <laughs> kind of. Didn't see the face. <laughs> Wait, you watch it back. Okay, let's head there while you're waiting. For, oh, sorry, go on. I was going to see what flight. What can you see? But if you want to head to the other people, I'm going then... upstairs while flight's having a look around. <laughs> yeah. Um. Can they just try the door? Yeah. Yeah. Just the, the door opens. Oh, great. <laughs> cool. What's in there? Uh, there's a, a big, big table uh-huh. with chairs around it. Oh, it's a boardroom. Oh. <laughs> um, Blue will. Um, there's no one in there. There's, nope. No. It's really annoying because we know that they've got everything downstairs, but we don't know it in character. <laughs> Blue's gonna. Uh, Blue's gonna kind of trot around see if she can sniff anything out that's suspicious or see anything that looks out of place. Okay. Do um, an investigation for me. Blue's again. Um, that is 16. Um, oh, sorry, Jane. Ori's going to have a look around as well. Yeah, sure. Okay. Do an investigation at advantage. Advantage. Um, I know you're both rogues, but mm-hmm. she is a rogue who robs stuff regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got two nines. So, that, that's, I got, so I got both nines, so a dirty 20. Ha! <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I mean, there are paintings around the walls. Um, as you're sort of walking around, you move the paintings, and one of them has a locked steel door behind it. Ooh. Who are the paintings Ooh. of? Various Mernix. <laughs> See, why didn't uh, <laughs> Can I try and pick the lock? You can. Please. I'm assuming you've got Thieves' Tools. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are you prof- you're proficient with them, I'm assuming? Yeah. Thieves' Tools. I call them Ori's Tools. <laughs> um, <laughs> slide of hand, then, please. Yeah, slide of hand. Uh, I've not used this dice. It's probably not this. Good idea to be risking that. Oh, well, you, you're going to be at advantage as well. Oh. Um, good thing as well. Fuck me. I rolled horrendously. Uh, 12. Uh, yeah, 12. 12? That's yeah. worse than mine at disadvantage. I've got a plus 8, but I rolled a 2 and a 4. Blimey. Um, the dice have been shocking tonight. Um, okay. You, you fail on your first attempt. Let's go back downstairs. Um, so, flight literally um, the um, uh, the everything. It, it's a museum. Yeah. There's stuff that's probably of no interest to you. Yeah. Um, the um, plinth that had the car on, or the, <coughs> the sort of model of the horseless carriage, um, basically says the first uh, Mernig horseless carriage. Okay. Um, and it just says developed for the Mechdwarfs. Um, and then it's got a date, which is about a hundred years before now. Wow. Okay. Um, and um, the um, key. the key, sorry, the key plinth um, has a date of over a thousand years ago, so wow. pre desolation And it uh, it, it says uh, the last known key um, of um, Morton Mernig. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Squirt, like anything that's obviously magical. Uh, yeah, she'll send the eye. I mean, you say there's like, there'll be talking tens or hundreds of plinths in here. Um, probably about 30. Okay, so she'll send the eye now just on a thing around. Do me an investigation. Them. Let's have a go. Nope. Nope. What'd you get? Two plus oh five. God. Seven. Yeah, I mean, you don't notice anything. No. No. You saw that. Okay. I can't help from out here. <laughs> okay, let's go back upstairs. So, Ori, do you want to have another go at picking that lock? I'm going to have another, another go. Uh, I'm going to say, because she was on the boat for like three, she didn't have to do any thieving or anything, so she's a little bit shaky with the lock picking. And also, you a are a... I'm also... A dwarf, a foot a dwarf. shorter yeah. than normal, I yeah, would imagine. Yeah, different hands. Mm. Uh, still at advantage or dis... Or d- not dis, but like... No, advantage. Ad- oh, yeah. um, that's more like it. 27. Cool. 
Uh, you open the you open the safe. There are um, some piles of documents in there. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna wait and read through them. I'm just gonna grab them, put them in the bag that I have. <laughs> um, there's the the boxes in as well. Oi and the harm would know to bring a bag. We've yeah. got to assume that like adventurers have sort of satchels and yeah, yeah. things. Yeah. And I'm just gonna message message her blue. I found some documents. I haven't read through them. I'm thinking maybe we should just get in and get out. Uh, Blue's gonna say, to dog or to not? Keep up with the dog, I think. Cool. Um, and she's it's gonna, worked so far. Yeah, like. um, she's gonna stay and she's gonna kind of slither out. As you walk towards the door, yeah. you see the handles move. Uh oh. <gasps> and I think that's probably no. the end of the episode. Oh, oh you Tossa. bastard. Um, oh. Great session, though. Whatever you do this week, go out into the world and roll the damn dice. Blue tries to act like a happy pup with the furiousness of a Spartan. Oriana charms the gnomish guard by turning into Dolly Parton. <laughs> Although Blue knows well how prophecy smells, her plan to find the key is scuppered. The poor gnome's been gobbled by many things, but never by his own car. <laughs> 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 <laughs>